Do I have a rip there? I did actually hear it rip this morning when you first put them on. Oh God. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today, we're gonna be trying out a really strange clothing item. If you guys follow the likes of Kim Kardashian, you may have seen the trending pant boots. And you may ask, Roxy, what is a pant boot? In my realm, I'm just gonna call it panta boot. Is it pants or is it boots? I think it's both. These are essentially a pair of trousers attached right down to a pair of boots. So where do the trousers begin and where do the shoes end? I guess we'll never know. This has been a clothing item that has been thoroughly sported by Kim Kardashian. I have been seeing her rock a pair of Balenciaga panta boots or whatever you want to call it for a while now. When this ridiculous clothing item first came into the limelight, it was very much a high-end kind of item that regular people couldn't really get their hands on. I'm talking Balenciaga retailing it for 2000 pounds even diesel jumped on the bandwagon retaining their straight jeans for almost a thousand pounds with the help of high street brands such as ego this hybrid pair of shoes has really become a little bit more obtainable these panta boots have been seen on various celebrities at fashion shows catwalks and even prestigious events so today we're going to be trying out one of these panta boots i'm going to be putting myself through the pain of wearing these for a whole day to really give you my verdict of what what I think of this new trend. If you guys are new here and you do enjoy this video, be sure to smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But with that being said, I think we should now unbox the Panta boots. Wish me luck. All right, so here are the shoes. The ones that I actually picked up are from AliExpress and I think these cost around 70 pounds. So as you guys can see, I went for quite a bold color. We went for bright neon green. I am quite concerned about these because you could only choose what shoe size you were and they didn't really take into account what butt size you would be. Obviously not everyone that has the same shoe size will have the same hip size, butt size and all that so there is no guarantee that this is going to fit everybody. Okay so these are the shoes slash panta boots slash trousers whatever you want to call them. These are the heels and they look quite tall. I am not looking forward to having to wear these all day. Honestly now that I have them here I actually feel like I'm going to look like a power ranger or something. They are just so weird. And also not everyone has the same length of legs, so how do they know this is gonna fit everyone? I guess let's just try these on because I'm very concerned that these are not gonna fit. Okay, I guess let's just try these on. I'm so nervous. They don't even have like a zipper or anything. They feel so rigid. Oh my God. Am I even gonna be able to get my foot through these? To say that these panta boots were tight was an understatement. It felt like I was literally putting on a second skin. Oh, they're so tight. I really hope this is gonna fit me around my actual waist. I'm having some difficulties. Okay, moment of truth. Oh God, guys, I think I made a mistake. I cannot get these over my bum. This is exactly what I mean. Although they fit perfectly fine on my foot, they just do not fit at my butt region. Oh God, what am I gonna do? Are you tying a ring into them? Oh my God, they're so tight. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm in somehow. Wow, this is now so stretched out. Look at this. Oh no, they could have just put a zipper in. That would have saved everything. Oh no, I swear I heard a stitch rip right here. Oh god. Well this is gonna be a fun, interesting day. Once I managed to scrape these leggings onto my body, I was not really happy with the finish of the waistline, so we had to fix that. So seeing as the waistband of this is so loose and there's nothing I can do about it to tighten it, I've actually got these little waist cinches that I might try and attempt to kind of like pin back the sides or else it just looks really weird. Hopefully this is gonna work. This is my little ace in my pocket. Oh god, the fabric is too thick for it to go through, no! Oh no, 
This is not gonna work. Damn it, I guess we're just gonna have to stick with this massive waistband. And with that massive fail under our belt, it was then time to choose my outfit for the day. I wanted to embody the Kim K spirit, almost inspired by this outfit, which I feel like is very out there. I could not find a camo green top like Kim's anywhere, but I did manage to find some pretty close accessories. I kind of feel like a fly with these massive sunglasses, but are very much inspired by Kim K. Okay, so the countdown starts now of me having to wear these for a whole day. And I have to say, my feet are already hurting. I am just not used to wearing heels. And also I've noticed that right here where the fabric is bunching up under my knee, it's literally giving me knee chafe, which I've never had before, so. This is gonna be a fun day. I have to say, this outfit was definitely not my best fashion choice ever, but with that being said, it was time to go outside and face the public judgment. This is one thing I definitely didn't consider, and that is driving in these. Usually when I wear heels and I have to drive, I will actually change into flats. However, I literally have no choice with these because they are attached to my trousers. So I would literally have to go commando if I was to change my shoes right now. We headed to Vista Village, one of the most known of tourist shopping destinations in the UK. This being a designer shopping outlet, I thought I would fit right in. I just thought the most ironic thing of this video was me walking past the real Balenciaga store in my fake Balenciagas. If you have ever been to Vista Village, you'll know that the parking situation is quite difficult. I ended up having to park on the other end of Vista Village and walk all the way down just to get some lunch. During my little walk through Vista Village, I definitely got so many stares and looks. I don't know if it was people looking at the fact that these were pants mixed with shoes or just the color of them that really attracted their eyes. I have to say, just looking at some of this footage, I really do stick out like a sore thumb. I didn't manage to capture this on camera, but I did have someone come up to me and say that my shoes were interesting. So I will take that as a compliment. I then finally made it to my destination, Itsu, where we just grabbed some lunch and it was delicious. Guys, I needed to sit down. Literally, these shoes are absolutely wrecking my legs. Not only am I in so much pain behind the knees, but also my actual feet are killing me. Honestly, hats down to anyone that wears heels every day because I could not do it. Also, this is the kind of point where I would actually change into some more comfy shoes, but like I said, I have no option to do that. Apart from the foot and knee ache, I did also experience major frustrations because the waistband was so loose that it kept falling down and riding down my stomach. So the whole time I just had to keep pulling it up. All right, we're heading back to the car now. Honestly, my legs are wrecked. I got many, many strange looks. I feel like it's the color because it's so bright neon. Everyone just can't help but look at it. So with lunch being a success, it was then time to move on to our next shopping destination. And just like that, we have made it to our next destination. Ironically, we're actually going to shop for shoes because we're going on holiday and we're really in dire need of some walking shoes. And Decathlon is the perfect place for that. This is probably not the best day to be trying to buy walking shoes because I've just realized, how am I even gonna try them on without taking my trousers off? <laughs> yeah, also you do really stick out a lot in this shop. I know. This Those trousers so are a lot more green <laughs> in real life. I know. Everyone's like, what the hell is she doing in here? Like, I just don't look like I'm ready for camping, do I? We have ventured into my section of the store. I feel like this would really complement my trousers very well. It's all so fluorescent. I feel like I belong here. Now that is an outfit, baby. Look at this. I literally look like a frog. Once again, I managed to receive plenty of looks. Perhaps it was the bright, bold color, or it could have been the fact that I was wearing full-on heels in a camping shop. All right, guys, we are back now from our day out. And <laughs> I have to say, when I got back in the car, I did hear another rip. And I have no idea where it came from, but I feel a slight breeze in my backside. So I need to look. Do I have a rip there? Uh, no, doesn't look yeah. like it. No. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, maybe actually. Oh my god, that's really big. What the hell? That is so big. Wait, does my blazer cover it though? Yeah, but I did actually hear it rip this morning when you first put them on. Yeah, when I... Wait, so that was there this whole time? Are you serious? I, I thought I that was know. like... I suppose, yeah, because when I did that, I'm sure it would have like ripped it. It probably got worse. Oh god. 
That rip is so big. All right, so as we are back home and we've completed a whole day of wearing these monstrosities, I think it's now time that I relieve my legs because I cannot be wearing these inside. They were so tight around the knees. I literally have like full on chafing right there. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get these off. Alright guys, so that was everything for today's video. I had so much fun trying out these panta boots for a whole day. I have really missed making these types of videos out and about, so if you guys do enjoy this type of content, be sure to comment down below if you want to see more. I have to say that was definitely one hell of an experience. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know what other clothing items you want me to try out for a whole day next. But as always, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.